So students are always confused. How should I study? Should I read the book first or should I watch the video lectures first or should I just do the questions? In this video, I'll be explaining a detailed workflow you can use if you use your books, video lectures and questions to study. Hey there, I am Subhav Ram Nani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So as I've discussed, the bridge of knowledge comprises of four pillars. Number one is building base, number two learning, number three revision and number four application. So if any of these pillars are weak, the bridge of knowledge you've built tend to be unstable. So let's take each of these pillars one by one. Number one, building base. So to build your base about a topic or a subject. You should have a good understanding and not essentially focus on the minute details. Try to get the bigger picture here early on. How to do this? I suggest you to open your books or notes and just skim through the headings. Just skim through it. This will create a categorization in your mind. Now go on to your video resource and watch the video carefully. If you want, open the notes for the video and add any extra details or explanation the lecturer says. Your focus here is not to learn, but to understand the topic fully. This will complete your first pillar that is building base. Number two, learning. Now let's move on to the second pillar, which is learning. Now you have a base understanding and also a vague categorization of the topic. You are ready to dive deep and learn the minute details along with understanding the whole picture. For this, use your books, notes or any other compact resource which will help you separate out the points you need to learn. Incorporating learning and understanding will give you a solid foundation of the topic and you'll feel more confident than ever. Number 3. Revision But this confident won't last long if you don't start revising the strong foundation you've already built. Now people always have different ways to revise. Some use Anki, some use their notes. I have already talked about the 5 effective revision techniques. I'll add a link to this video so you can see the most effective revision techniques which suit you. Now another question people often ponder upon is how often should I revise? If you're using Anki then this is taken care of. But what if you're revising with your notes, your own flashcards? Now there are several popular methods. For example, a 1-2-1-2 method which means you revise the topic after one day, then after two days, then after one week and then two weeks and then after one month and two months. Anytime you can't remember, you just repeat the cycle. So this is like a game. Whatever technique you use, make sure you are consistently following it without missing the revision day and also using active recall whenever you are revising. This revision pillar will solidify whatever gaps you will keep developing in your knowledge over time and help you keep a clear picture for a long term. Now we come to the fourth pillar which is the application. In my previous video, I spoke about this very specific pillar of knowledge and I would advise you to check that video out. I'll link it in the description box below. So summing the fourth pillar up, application is actually the most important of them all. If you have all the knowledge and you are unable to apply it, it is of no use. You can apply your knowledge by doing questions. Questions which are similar to your exam would be useful as they would also help you tackle the exam day anxiety. There will be many times you will not be able to answer a question. Now instead of dwelling on it, you have to use this as a learning tool and relearn the concept. Don't use this as an assessment tool. For assessment, you should use your grand tests, assessment, mock exams, etc. Use these Q banks only as a learning tool. Once you're done with all these four pillars for a topic, I'm sure the bridge of knowledge you've built would be strong enough to tackle anything. So let me answer some of your doubts. Number one, 
Should I do this one by one for every subject and then move on to the next subject? The answer is no. Just complete the first two pillars which are the building base and learning for each subject or each topic you study and then you can move on to the next topic. The third and fourth pillar, revision and application can go on forever till you give your exam. So do the first two pillars and move on to the next topic and continue doing the third and fourth pillars throughout your journey. Question two. But this is going to take a lot of time. I don't have that much time. So actually, if you study without learning, revising and application or doing questions, you are likely to forget this topic in the future and you will have to revisit the topic again and study everything again. And that will actually consume more time. So what I suggest is do it right in the first go so you don't have to revisit the basics again and you can just carry on with the third and fourth pillar which are revision and application and that will keep you strong. So hopefully you'll complete all these four pillars for your topic and build a strong bridge of knowledge which will help you ace your exams. If you gained anything from this video then don't forget to give it a like and if you absolutely loved it then do click on that subscribe button. And as always stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine.